Hello everyone, welcome to our educational series on stomach anatomy. Hope you all are doing great. Today we will show you the uh, anatomical position of the stomach and how to hold the viscera properly. Joining us today is Ravsan Siddiq who will be our demonstrator today for today's session and Abdullah Akik is behind the camera. So without any further ado, let us get started. Before holding the viscera in anatomical position, you must have a clear knowledge about uh, the presenting parts, different locations of these parts and their orientations. And to know that, please watch our previous video where I described uh, already about the presenting parts in details. But for now, in this viscera, this is the cardiac end with the cardiac orifice. And how do you know that this is the cardiac end, not the pyloric end? For this, you have to palpate the two ends and you will find one end is much firmer than the other one. This firmness is due to the presence of the thick muscular sphincter at this end known as the pyloric sphincter. Here on the coronal section of the stomach, we can see the thick muscular sphincter, the pyloric sphincter. This muscular sphincter causes the firmness in this region. So this firm end is known as the pyloric end. On the other hand, the cardiac end is much softer compared to the pyloric end because this region has less muscular thickness than the pyloric end. After confirming which one is the cardiac end and which one is the pyloric end, you have to focus on their proper location. In my previous video, I showed you that the cardiac end lies superiorly and it is situated about 2.5 cm left from the median plane. So. While holding the stomach in the anatomical position, you have to keep the cardiac orifice about 2.5 cm left from the midline and you also have to ensure this end lies superiorly, not inferiorly. And we also showed you that the pyloric end lies below and it is about 1.25 cm right from the median plane. So, in anatomical position, you have to keep the pyloric orifice uh, about 1.25 cm right from the midline and you have to ensure it lies inferiorly. So, we covered the two ends. Now, let us focus on the curvatures. We have two curvatures, the lesser curvature and the greater curvature. We know that the lesser curvature is on the right side and it is concave and also Anatomically, this border lies on a more posterior plane than the left one. So, you have to hold the concave border, I mean the lesser curvature on the right side of your body and it shall remain a little posterior than the greater curvature. You can see the convex greater curvature lies anteriorly than the lesser curvature. And also, it has two surfaces, the anterior superior surface and the posterior inferior surface. The anterior superior surface lies anteriorly of course, but most importantly it is also directed superiorly. So this surface has both anterior and superior directions. We also have the posterior inferior surface. From our previous video we saw how it faces both posteriorly and inferiorly. So we have to hold the viscous in such a way so that this surface lies posteriorly and inferiorly. So these are the things you have to keep in mind while holding the viscera. Now, at this moment, Ravsan will show us the correct anatomical position of the stomach. This is the viscera of the stomach. The cardiac orifice lies superiorly and is about 2.5 cm left from the median plane. The pyloric orifice lies inferiorly and is about 1.25 cm right from the median plane. The concave laser curvature is on the right side and it lies on a more posterior plane than the greater curvature and it is marked by the incisura angularis. The convex greater curvature is on the left side. The anterior surface is directed anteriorly and superiorly. The posterior surface lies posteriorly and is directed inferiorly. So, this is how you have to hold the stomach in anatomical position. Thank you Revson for helping us with your nice demonstration. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to see more demonstrations, please leave a comment below. 
Do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. See you in our next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.